right, welcome back everyone. My name is Tyler Bronski. You're watching my YouTube channel where I interview professional athletes and celebrities. I'm joined today by the newest pitcher for the New Bridge and Bees in the Independent Atlantic League, uh, Alex Gowen. So Alex, first off, uh, congrats on the new contract and uh, thanks for taking the time. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Let me ask you about your new uh, current situation with the Bees, because the Bees, they're, they've only been in the league for a couple of years now. They've kind of struggled as a franchise, but I mean, this season you guys have a whole new personnel in the front office, and you mentioned um, Mr. Backman, and then a bunch of new teammates coming over to New Britain. So what are some of the things that attracted you about uh, this new opportunity with the New Britain Bees this upcoming season? All right. Uh, well, first and foremost, uh, that was, you know, the location um, was definitely a, a big decided factor for me. Um, living in, I've been blessed enough, aside from the fact from when I signed with the Diamondbacks, where I uh, obviously had to go um, across the country. Besides that year, um, I've been pretty blessed and fortunate to be able to leave, live at home while playing. Uh, when I started in Rockland in the Can-Am League, uh, I was living at home. Uh, when I played in Somerset, I was actually commuting from home. Oh, wow. um, so now that I moved here uh, to South Windsor, uh, Connecticut, New Britain is actually 20, probably a 25 minute drive. So that's uh, definitely convenient. Uh, the other part of it is, besides just making sense um, location wise, you know, they're definitely known, I, I guess, in the past or last year as sort of the underdog having the, uh, you know, probably not. Having, I think, yeah, I think we're, they were dead last. Uh, we were that last um, in the league last year. Mm -hmm. Kind of having that underdog mentality. Um, I've, I've always kind of thrived in that uh, you know, underdog scene mm -hmm. where, um, you know, you kind of have to prove myself. I, you know, I think I perform better, um, although it's not a, you know, a, it's a team sport. But personally, uh, everyone has to add their own piece. But for me, I think I perform better when, with a little chip on my shoulder when I kind of know I have to, prove something so um all of those reasons all those factors added together you know just made a lot of sense for me to um try to get traded and that's what it was it was a trade and um i'm glad it, it was granted yeah for sure and like you talked about you guys you know almost going to be like the underdogs uh coming into this season but you guys have brought a lot of pieces i mean you're from somerset which is like a really winning uh, culture over there you guys are bringing right. a lot of people from bridgeport who was the, had the best overall record last year in the league so is that kind of something that excites you about just like uh, building something new in New Britain and then um, uh, starting a new culture over there? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you definitely, um, you know, in the past two, I've, I've, I've been part of a uh, program that has kind of turned, thing, turned things around. You know, from, from the University of Hartford, my, fr my freshman year, we were actually six and 44, I believe. Um, so, wow. you know, think about that record. Yeah. Um, and then we, we turned things around, um, ended up breaking a few records uh, in the upcoming year. So I actually enjoyed um, seeing the progress and, and the process of turning a program around. And, um, you know, being part of something good like that, it's, it's definitely, um, it's, it's exciting. You know, you definitely, it's something good to feel, uh, to feel it's, it's something to feel good about. Sure. Uh, but seeing all the pieces come together um, in the past few weeks, the Britain, the, the Bees have um, released a few um, signings in the media um, and you know seeing some of the faces you know you definitely recognize from last year yeah. uh, and when you look up you know and you, you don't even have to look up the stats at least for me being in the league last year but you know just seeing the names you remember that you know they they put up a pretty reputable season last year and um, just the track record they have so I think they're I think they're doing um, you know I think they got we got something good going this year um, you know, start obviously starts with the with the manager with the manager, and um, you know definitely some of the additions that they're they're adding. So I'm definitely excited and looking forward to this upcoming year. Yeah, for sure. And I'm a Connecticut local, so you guys are my new uh, Atlantic League team to support. So I'll be definitely uh, rooting for the bees this season. So for cool. sure, yeah, cool, awesome. All right, uh, I want to ask you about uh, your childhood a little bit because you grew up in Cuba actually, but moved to New Jersey when you were like ten or eleven. Is that correct? Yeah, I was uh, just about to turn 10. I was actually 9 years old. Okay, perfect. Uh, first off, uh, what do you consider home, Cuba or New Jersey? And what, do you remember <laughs> what that transition was like, uh, coming up north yeah. like you did? Yeah, you know what? Occasionally, I'll, I'll, I'll throw a few little um, memories to my parents and you know my older family members, and they kind of get stumped when I remember 
some of the oh. little details. So <laughs> I definitely surprise them every now and then. But yeah, no, as far as memory, um, I remember everything. I really oh. do. Um, the transition was obviously a tough one. Um, but, you know, I, 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 t I say it all the time. I, li I like a challenge. Yeah. Uh, I mean, not necessarily enjoy it um, in, in the moment, but, you know, at the end, I think, I think um, that's when really it's worth it. Um, but, yeah, I was, I was born there. I remember a lot of it. I still have a lot of family there on my dad's side. Uh, pretty much for the most part, everyone on my mom's side is still here. Um, it's, it's here already. Um, and really, that's what it is. We're definitely planning a, a trip sometime soon back to visit. Last time I oh. returned was in 2008. Um, and that's that. But, um, yeah, it was uh, definitely a tough transition. But now, you know, I definitely consider, you know, I've been here for more, more than half of my life here now. So mm -hmm. I definitely consider the U.S. home for me. Um, but, uh, yeah, a lot of things have happened. In 2001, I probably couldn't even say hello. I couldn't even start wow. this interview with you. So wow. uh, definitely come a long way. Um, but, yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let me ask you about uh, the beginning of your professional career a little bit because you did start uh, with the Rockland Boulders in the Can-Am League. Uh, you spent a season and a half there before, uh, you mentioned earlier, getting signed by the Arizona Diamondbacks. And something common I hear in baseball all the time is, you know, if you got a jersey on, then you always got a chance. Um, but sometimes I know in indie ball, it's kind of hard to keep that faith sometimes. So uh, what was your parents' reaction when you told them the news that the Diamondbacks are signing you, that you're getting that chance in affiliate ball? Break it down uh, the way you told them. <laughs> you know what? They were in shock. I remember the first, well, first I called, I called my girlfriend at the time, who's now my mm -hmm. wife. Uh, and then second, I called my parents. They were actually together at home. I told them, and I remember for a solid seven seconds, there was silence. It was like, you know, they were, I think they were in just shock. Yeah. Um, I remember the first word my dad said, I, I don't believe you. He's, you know, it was just in, in disbelief. Um, it was so exciting. They know, you know, firsthand, you know, the, the sacrifices that go in it, um, you know, the, the early mornings, the, the, the injuries that you've had mm -hmm. to overcome as an athlete, um, day in and day out. Um, it's, it's that they, they know the grind. So for them just to see, uh, me, their son, um, realize, um, a dream of mm -hmm. mine was definitely excited for them. Um, and yeah, there was, I mean, if it was excited for, for them, for exciting for them, I mean, you can imagine how yeah. exciting it was for me. Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. Man. And I can't wait to get back uh, into Philly ball one day. I hope maybe this season, uh, someone give you a chance, man. Yeah, man, that's the plan. Again, it's a grind. I'm, I'm enjoying the process, um, and I'm, I'm a very hopeful person. You know, I think if you're if you're playing this game and um, just kind of plits plateau and just get through the through the motions, you're not really gonna get much. And and really, that's that's and, and in life in general. But um, I'm enjoying the process, and you know, I'll see what happens. You yeah, know? fantastic. Yeah, you got the right mindset. I love that, man. Right, right. Control what I can. That's that's the plan. There you go. All right, uh, let me ask you about um, the team you played for last year a little bit, the Somerset Patriots. We talked about them earlier. They have really a uh, winning culture over there. I know last season maybe wasn't what you hoped for since you had the elbow injury. That kind of held you out for a uh, part of the season. But from what I've heard, a lot of players, every time they play for Somerset, they just really enjoy playing over there. So what is it about that organization that makes it so special to play over there? What what do they do that makes it such a good environment for the players? Yeah, uh, you know what? When it comes to um, recruiting players and, and signing players and you know people in the player development personnel, mm -hmm. they do a really good job. But I think part of it, a lot of it has to do with, with the fan base. The mm -hmm. fan base has such a, a support. Um, I mean, you get such a, a centralized and, and – compact fan base in that area mm -hmm. um i don't know if it's that there's not that many fields or, or professional um teams nearby but whatever it is you just get such a support yeah. and um the coaching staff really the field i mean forget about it yeah. it's just yeah. it's just a great spot to be in um and you know just the history of winning that 
you, that that is instilled within within the lines there in the clubhouse and, and out in the field and the um, dugout. It's it's really like no other. So you know they got a good thing going um, for them this year. But you know I've, mentally I've transitioned. Yeah. Now I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be at heart now. So it's just you know take it day by day and and um, just root for my team. You know I, I, I know I'm, I have a lot of a lot of good friendships that I developed there last year. I got really close to a lot of those players, as you do in every team. But mm-hmm. um, you know, there's there's nothing like friendly competition. So definitely yeah, look yeah. forward to that. For sure. Yeah. Well, hopefully the fans still give you some uh, love when you return there next year as a visitor. That'd be so, nice. Yeah, that'd I, be nice. I think so. All right, uh, Alex. Uh, last question for you. Uh, I know you're a multi-talented dude. You also got some talent as a barber as well. You've been a team barber for uh, <laughs> all these different teams. You've been part of so uh, let me ask you what's your haircut policy this year you only cut for uh, new bridge and bees players or you nice guy uh, you cut for the other players in the league as well what's your, what's your policy <laughs> hey you know um that's a that's a good question um no you know, i'm pretty open um i actually enjoy cutting hair yeah, every yeah. now and then you know i uh i'll decide to take a, a day or two off just because you know you you know when you when there's a good hunch that you feel that you're going to have uh, an appearance that night where um you know if i know i'm starting mm-hmm. there's you know definitely barber mm-hmm. shops closed but as okay. a as a reliever yeah you're not really sure when you're going to go in so on days that i kind of get a feel that uh, there's a good chance i might get in today i'll probably limit the time that i'm cutting hair before mm-hmm. the game just so i can you know prepare uh sure. mentally and physically yeah um but no i, I i'm not you know if, if there is ever a chance where I can cut my, uh, you know, old teammates hair, wherever it is, um, I'm, I'm up for it. I'm, I'm down. There's no problem. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, there you go. Atlantic League uh, players, uh, hit up uh, Alex if you need a cutter, <laughs> fresh luck or something like that, man. I like that. All right, uh, Alex, uh, any uh, social media plugs you want to put out there? Do you have, like, a Twitter or Instagram or anything people can follow you? Know what? You I'm pretty... <laughs> I'm pretty basic at the moment. Uh, my wife keeps uh, nudging me to get a an Instagram, uh, so I, I think I'm gonna have to expand at some point um, in the near future. Uh, but no, right now I just have Facebook, and that is it. Pretty pretty basic and simple. Yeah, um, yeah that's it. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure I wouldn't be surprised if you if you uh, see a an Instagram um, from me at some point in the near future. Sure, yeah, we'll look for that. Definitely, that'll be good. Uh, maybe fans could follow you with that if you uh, create Instagram. That would be perfect. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, all right, and uh, fans, you can follow this YouTube channel at Tybrox Five One Two. Same name on Facebook plus interviews. Also on Instagram and Twitter at Tybrowski Ten. It's also on the screen right now, so you don't really need to memorize what I'm saying. But uh, Alex, uh, thanks for taking the time. Uh, wish you all the best uh, this upcoming season with the New Bridge and Bees. Thanks, Tyler, man. I appreciate it. It was a lot of fun, and uh, thanks for uh, having me on your show. I appreciate it, man. Thank you.